Hello, this is my first Java tutorial. I guess I'll just show everybody first how to get started and download and stuff like that. Uh, go to java.sun.com and we click on the downloads and Java SE. And then we can go down to the most recent update. Click on download, select your platform. I agree. Then you can click right here on this exe file here. Save it. All right. Now once that's done, you just run it. Except just accept all the defaults that they give you, and then you can wait for this to install. Now, if you don't have the Java runtime, it'll ask you to install that also, so click next on that also. Okay, now once that's done, click finish. Alright, and then we can navigate to our uh, new Java folder after the web page opens. So open up your Java folder, then go to your JDK then go to the bin folder and you'll copy the path to the bin folder and then you go to your my computer right click and click properties for Vista uh, it's advanced system settings over here on the left for XP, it's just um, a pop-up box that looks like this. And then go to the Advanced tab, and then you click uh, Environment Variables down here. In the bottom scroll box, scroll down to the variable that's named Path. Double-click it. Put a colon after everything is here, a semicolon. And then paste your bin path file to the end of the string. Don't delete anything before it, but just add to it separating with a colon. Click OK on all of these windows. And then you can close out this. And, this. and that's basically how you set up the basic Java development kit for your computer. For an editing tool besides Notepad, I usually use um, TextPad. It's completely free, so it's on textpad.com. Testpad. Go to download. And then TextPad downloads and uh, select your language and you can save that and then you can run it. Yes, next. Then finish. It's basically, basically exactly like Notepad, but it gives you syntax coloring and fancy stuff like that. So that's basically all you have to do to set up Java on your computer. It's fairly simple. Hopefully, I'll have another tutorial out.
for some actual coding in Java now that you have that installed and set up. So I'll think about what I'm making next and then I'll get back.